Hey, Psych2Goers. Have you ever wondered if you were the toxic one in the relationship? We probably all know someone who is difficult to be around. The types who thrive on conflict and drama, whipping up trouble for themselves and those around them. It takes courage to admit that you're toxic, but it's even more courageous to take the necessary steps to right the wrongs you've done and challenge yourself to become a better person. It's also a big leap forward to have the mindset to want to improve yourself, a trait that not everyone possesses. So if you're interested in making a positive change in your life, here are six tips on how to not be a toxic person. Number one, check your ego. The first step to not being toxic is acknowledging that you have certain traits that may be toxic. They don't necessarily define you, but these behaviors have come up more than once in your past interactions. If you're the type of person who always has to be right, who can't stand to be challenged, or who gets defensive at the drop of a hat, it may be time to check your ego. Arrogance and lack of humility are big signs that you're a toxic person. They show that you lack the mental flexibility to see things from another person's perspective. It's not easy to let go of your ego, but you need to be open to the idea that you might not always be right. Try seeing things from other people's points of view and be willing to change your opinion. Being able to admit when you're wrong is a key trait of successful and well-liked people. Number two, don't test others. Do you often find yourself challenging others to test their loyalty? If you do, it's time to reassess your methods. Testing others is a toxic way to try to control the situation and those around you, whether it's by making final ultimatums, asking trick questions, or by making false temptations for your partner. Testing others may seem reassuring to you at first, but it can be utterly draining for those around you. It shows insincerity, insecurity, and a lack of trust. If you wanna build healthy and lasting relationships, it's important to be genuine with your intentions. Try building trust and openly communicating with others. Show others that you trust them by being vulnerable yourself. This way, you won't have a big expectation for them to live up to, but instead foster a more healthy relationship that creates trust from both sides. Number three, don't gossip. Do you find yourself regularly engaged in gossip? Gossiping may seem fun and engaging, but it's not the best way to build rapport. When you gossip, you're tearing someone else down in order to feel better about yourself. It certainly won't do your image any favors either. No one wants to be branded as a gossip. And not only is gossiping hurtful to the person you're gossiping about, but it also shows a lack of maturity on your part. It's important to be able to have mature conversations about things that don't involve putting others down. Number four, don't be a doormat. There's a big difference between being respectful and being a doormat. When you're a doormat, you don't stand up for yourself and you don't voice your opinion. This not only shows a lack of self-respect, but it also sets you up to be taken advantage of by others and allows others to walk all over you. On the other hand, being respectful doesn't mean you have to agree with everything someone else says. It's okay to voice your opinions and stand up for yourself. But when moments of disagreement do happen, try to calmly express yourself without putting the other person down. Number five, don't control people's mindsets. Do you often tell others to calm down, relax, or don't take things so seriously? While it may sound rational to tell others not to let their emotions get a hold of them, trying to control other people's emotional reactions can be a very toxic behavior because it's an attempt to invalidate someone else's emotions under the guise of sounding rational. These phrases can stifle an emotional conversation and further alienate the person you're talking to. Instead of trying to control how someone else is feeling, validate their emotions and provide comfort and emotional support. This can go a long way in strengthening the bond between you. And number six, don't avoid or delay difficult conversations. Think about it. Is there something you've been wanting to talk to your friend or partner about, but you keep putting it off because you're not ready or it's not the right time? There's no question about it. Conflict can be uncomfortable because navigating difficult situations is never easy. But if you wanna have a healthy and successful relationship, it's important that you're able to openly communicate with each other. And that includes having tough conversations. Avoiding difficult conversations will only create more tension and resentment in the long run. Leaving these negative feelings unresolved won't lead to anything good. So it's important to address them as soon as they arise. 
It can be difficult to change your behavior, especially if you've been engaging in these behaviors for a long time. But it's important to remember that change is always possible. You'll experience new things, build more memories, and establish more relationships as you move through life. Why let your less than stellar habits define you? Can you relate to any of these points? I'll admit, I can. Let us know in the comments and share this video with others who might find it helpful. The references and studies used are listed in the description below. Until next time, friends, thanks so much for watching.